Hey, what's up, everybody? Core MTG here, and I'm back again with some more packs. Like I said before, I'm needing quite a bit of cards for my personal collection, so I'm going to be cracking a lot of packs to create some new commander decks that I'm really looking forward to. So I got a pack of Commander Legends, a booster, a draft booster, and I got a collector booster here, hopefully with some great pulls. Let's get straight to it. Commander Legends is holding its value and it's got great value in it for especially if you love to play the game and i'd see it that's what i see it that's what i see it these cards are valued because they're just so great in the game itself not because of the foiling process or the scarcity of the card but because they're so great in the actual card game itself so we got renegade tactics oops strategic planning spark harvest Ripscale Predator, Scholar of Stars, Life Crafter's Gift. I was just looking at this card, the one that we just passed right now, Scholar of Stars. That's me on in the night, most of the time, just staring up at the stars. <laughs> I just love that art. Life Crafter's Gift, Charcoal Diamond, Vis Viscera Seer, Soul Fire, Kinsbale Courier, Kitkins. We're going to be returning to Kitkins, I've been hearing. Wild Size, Natural Reclamation, there's probably a little foresight right there with the Kipkins and everything. I'm pretty sure there's more secrets behind Commander Legends in the upcoming sets that we're not even seeing. Like this, Sisei's Cisse, Ring, maybe we may see some type of uh, Sisei in the future. Supreme Whale, or Sisei's Legacy, Shana, Supreme Whale, Orzov Ad Advocist, Mask of Memory, not rare. Armored Sky Hunter is a three colorless and a plane for a three three cat knight with flying. Whenever Armored Sky Knight attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put an aura or equipment card from among them onto the battlefield. Wow, straight into the battlefield. If an equipment is put onto the battlefield this way, you may attach it to a creature you control. Put the rest in those. Uh, the rest of those cards in the bottom of your library in any random order. Wow, that's pretty pretty strong actually. If you're running an Equipment Matters commander deck, imagine having a uh, Ember Cleave or a really powerful sword. It's awesome. An Abomination of Lanowar. Awesome commander here. I've seen this. Uh, somebody was running, I forget who it was that was running this in one of the newest episodes of uh, Commander Game Nights. And if you haven't seen that episode, I highly recommend it. And we got Prava of Steel Legion as our legendary commander creature. We got a Foil Spark Harvest and a Monarch Torque token. So, I'm gonna put our rare on the side here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the collector booster. Hopefully, we get some awesome cards here. I'm gonna see how I could really feel. I could really feel the curling. No, no lie. This is a booster. A, a solo booster pack out of a blister pack like one of the big retailer cells so just so you know this is not from a booster box this is a solo blister pack i just took it out of the box that they originally came out of to save some time and you can see look at this wow the curling is already out of the pack okay we got maelstrom colossus alvish doomsayer Fertilid, Spectral Searchlight, Scab Goliath, Volcanic Dragon, classic card there, Guildless Commons, Glacian Powerstone Engineer, Cagney Sky Warden, awesome legendary creature cards there, and our first rare is Court of Bounty. Two colorless and two forests for an enchantment. When Court of Bounty enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. If you're the monarch, instead you may put a creature card or a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got an awesome extended art here. Terramorphic Expanse. It's not an evolving wilds, but it's just as good. And we got a Mnemonic Deluge Mythic Rare, six colorless and three islands for a sorcery exile target instant or sorcery card from the graveyard. 
copy that card three times, then you may cast that copies. Wow, without paying their mana cost, exiled mnemonic deluge. So imagine going for like a extra turn instant or sorcery. No, inst, uh, sorcery, obviously, I don't think there's any instant extra turn cards out there. But yeah, this is super game winning. Imagine three extra turns. We got Cagney Skywarden again with the awesome, um, the awesome border here. Wow, and we got Tibna the Weaver. Some great commander here with one colorless and a plains in the swamp for a human cleric with two two with lifelink and partner. At the beginning of your post combat main phase, you may put, you may pay X life where X is the number of opponents that were dealt combat damage this turn. If you do draw X cards, wow. So I know that Tibna is a great card for a commander, and she's still holding her value up there too. And we got Archelos, Lagoon Mystic, one colorless, one a swamp, a forest, and an island for a turtle shaman 2-4. As long as Archelos, Lagoon Mystic is tapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped. As long as Archelos is untapped, other permanents enter the battlefield untapped. Wow. Great card. And a spirit token. So yeah, this first Commander Legends uh, collector pack was just a hit. I think it was a hit because we got Timna, we got Archelos. Maybe Mnemonic Dailies doesn't really have that much value, but I know that these commanders are awesome. I'm going to be actually building uh, a deck with Archelos, and I'm going to be using Timna also, too. So, yes, awesome hits. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you're planning, if you can see something here with these cards, and what do you think about the foiling process? In the comments down below, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys all next time.